Hello, so I'll be showing three ways to run Windows games in Linux. First off, let's start with Lutris. Here we have OpenGL Awards running with Bumblebee. We can't use DXVK since Bumblebee doesn't support Vulkan, but we use Primus Run and why do you think? So let's see how it works. I'll be using a Busan map for all of these tests. So at least there's some similarity. Skirm is to get straight into the action. Also, it's also Overwatch since it's the one I got running on all three setups. Easy, I pass through Lotris and X. Uh, sorry, Nvidia X run. With every death comes honor. With honor. And that supports Vulcan, so hopefully it's a bit better than this. Though we are getting 40 FPS at the moment, so not the worst. Also, my capture is uh, making it harder for the game, so normally I'd get a bit better, but not much, like 50 to 60 on this setup. But, as you can see, it's somewhat playable. Just my graphics card, maybe not as OP as it should be. Next up, uh, we can check that the drivers are now NVIDIA and SND HDA Intel. They started up with during boot up uh, blank. So now we'll test if PCI pass through can grab them and then we can use them in a Windows Quest to play Overwatch. Okay, it runs and when we check this, now it's VVIO PCI, as it should be. When we close this machine, it gives it back to NVIDIA as well, so that's real nice. No manual rebinding of the drivers needed. Of course, we also have a looking glass. So we get to see what's happening on the quest. The problem with this is it also tanks my CPU, kinda. So having both recording, looking glass, and then running a game might be a bit stuttery. Generally, if I play it straight to the monitor, the quality is a bit better than we had with uh, OpenGL with Bumblebee, but then I don't have a looking glass seeing straight into the host. I'm in quest. So here we are, this time running it in a Windows Quest. As you can see, the loading is struggling. 
the CPU isn't quite at hundred percent, but it's kinda getting there with post capture and the looking glass. So we still have 40 FPS, so similar. Usually this stutters a bit less than the Lutris, though this time I don't think the... I mean OpenGL, but I don't think the OpenGL started too much this time when I tried to run it. Yeah, staying around pretty static 40, not going above or lower. Then lastly, we'll be using NVIDIA X-RUN for Vulkan support. So we can uh, run games on Linux. But for the NVIDIA X-RUN to work, we need to switch to a different TTY. Also, if we, for example, want to use Lutris there, we need to first close it down here, so we can start it up over there as well. So, I need to close the recording and start it once I'm in the secondary TTY. So here we are on the second TTY. I forgot to say you can switch with Ctrl Alt F keys. So F1 for the one by default usually and F2 is this one. Here we'll still be using Lutris. But this time we can use DXVK. Uh, for Vulkan support, no primus run, and there's the settings I turned on hood, so I can actually check that it's really running Vulkan. But other than that, I didn't really have to change much. Also, I have to thank the maintainer, Tanis Ruth, for this. I'm just using the presets pretty much from the Lutris site he has done. FPS. That's already a bit better than the other ones. Though there's sometimes a uh, micro stutters like the one right there. Also, the mouse sensitivity in this setup is somehow really fast. But if I change it now, it's gonna change it for my Overwatch account and. Just reset it for the other things as well. But so far this gives us the best FPS. And if the stutters go away, definitely the best way to run this. But to be honest, I don't see them too much at the moment anyways. So that's about it, and now to avoid rebinding, we need to log out from here and go back to the first TTY. The everything stayed the uh, same, so we can just go back to continuing whatever we're doing. And we are back to the first TTY again. So now we can check what the drivers are. It cleared the NVIDIA driver. It still has the HDA, but 
that shouldn't stop us from just throwing the FAO PCI again and letting it take over. As you can see, it started and it's back to the FAO. So we could do this loop now multiple times, just using different ways, Bumblebee, PCI pass through or Nvidia X run, and the drivers work with each other just fine. So I'd consider this test for alternative ways to run Windows games a success. Thanks for watching.